Donald J. Trump is going to receive a bunch of backlash for this, but he is the new Secretary of Defense, Pete Hexeth. He was just appointed by Donald J. Trump. So very, very exciting times that we live in. As you guys can see here, it states Trump nominates Fox News host veteran Pete Hexeth for Secretary of Defense. So this guy overnight, he went from being a Fox News host to now being the veteran Pete Hexeth for Secretary of Defense for the United States of America. This is really exciting, guys, because this is what he said that really, really, really uh, shocked Donald J. Trump and honestly the whole world. I'm straight up just saying we should not have women in combat roles. It uh, hasn't made us more effective, hasn't made us more lethal, has made fighting more complicated. We've all served with women and they're great. Um, it just our institutions don't have to incentivize that in places where traditionally, not traditionally, over human history, uh, men in those positions are, are more capable. Wow, guys. Wow. Wow. So as you guys can see here, literally, he's the new Secretary of Defense, and he's saying that women should not be in combat roles. And that's something that I can absolutely stand behind and agree with as a born again Christian and also just as someone who just looks at the timeline of history, guys. Since when did we see women fighting in the military, guys? It's very, very uncommon, guys, especially guys who those of us who are Christian. It's just like literally the women and the children, they stay at home and the men go to war to fight. We don't want to go to war, but we go to wars so that we can defend our wives. We go to wars so that we can defend our children and our families. And that's the reality of why we go to war. We don't go to war so that we can bring our family with it. We don't go to war so that we can have our children and our, our wives so that they can lose their lives. We go to war so that we can defend our families back at home. That's the reason why men all throughout history have gone to war. It's not this sexist thing. It's not this Mr. Macho thing that these women are trying to or these feminists are trying to propagate it as. This is literally the history of why men always gone to war and women and children have always stayed at home. It's just the reality, guys. But anyways, it says here, the Marine Corps released the results of its year-long study of women in combat units Thursday. The study found all male units outperformed mixed gender units across the board. So guys, as you guys can see very clearly and plainly, guys, by the NPR, they're literally stating that men perform better than mixed units or women whenever it comes to the military and that's just the reality of the nature guys god created men stronger god created us to be men he created us to be brave and courageous and strong all these attributes that women just genuinely don't have not to say that a woman can't be strong or courageous or anything like that but reality is guys you compare a man and a woman a man can take five ten different women by himself just because we are just so much more stronger than women we're made for these combat positions women are not Women are great in their own sense. God created them to nurture, to be home takers, to raise up our children in the way that they should and all that stuff. It's really great. It's a blessing from God Almighty. But to say that woman should be in war is absolutely satanic and disgusting. Because then whenever you say, oh, woman can be in war, then you say, oh, well, transformers can be in war or vice versa. It's absolutely satanic, guys. A lot of these transformers are now a part of the military too and a lot of them are mentally ill. How do you know randomly throughout combat they don't freak out and they're like, you know what, I'm going to go on this huge mission and if I ever freak out, I'm going to go ahead and take 20 of my guys with me. Guys, it's a very serious danger to have transformers in war. So is it a danger to have women in war because that's not how God intended it to be. And so guys, if you guys don't know, this right here is a man pretending to be a woman in the military. This is uh, Mr. Levine. They might get offended by that, but their name is, uh, you know, Mr. Robert Devon Levine or whatever you want to call it. But they love to go by the name of Rachel Levine. And so if you guys don't know who Rachel Levine is, they are the Secretary for Health of the United States. And also they're a part of the Department of Defense or the, part, the Security Defense, something like that for the United States of America. So right now there's a there's literally everyone debating should she stay or he stay or it they them they them stay the Department of Health Ministry or should Robert RFK Jr. become the new one 2025 and I absolutely think he should replace her. I mean look at him for his age. He looks very healthy. He works out. He eats good. All that stuff. He should definitely be the Department of Health 
not this thing right here whatever this is supposed to be absolutely satanic nonsense and then to make it worse guys this thing right here is saying that we should go ahead mr admiral rachel levine is saying that we should go ahead and empower our kids to go on puberty blockers and sex reassignment surgeries is this really someone that you want in control of our health and also the person that you want to go ahead and help our military I don't think they're doing any good for our health or our military, but let's see what they have to say. So we really want to to to, to base our treatment and and, uh, and to uh, affirm and to uh, support and empower these youth, not to limit their participation in activities and sports, and even uh, uh, limit their ability to get gender affirmation treatment in their state. So we really want. Wow! To Absolutely satanic, guys absolutely satanic these are the same people that are want to go ahead and cut off the, the the mutilate the genitals of our children it's absolutely satanic guys these are a bunch of sick pdf files it's disgusting why they want to do this to our children because you want to know the saddest part about it guess what if a little boy tommy wants to go ahead and do this because he thinks he wants to be a little girl guess what's going to happen when he becomes older and he actually wants to have kids one day he wants to start a family guess what he can't because they already cut off his stuff it's disgusting and it's satanic. Why are we encouraging children to be able to do stuff like this? Why are we accepting this as the norm? Like, why is this normal in our society? It's so satanic and twisted from the word of God. But that's why the Bible says they're going to call good evil and evil good in the end times. And that's how you know we're getting closer to the end times. Because people are lovers of themselves. They're prideful. They're boastful. They're calling good evil and they're calling evil good. Absolutely satanic, guys. And then as you guys can see here, the same Democrats that tell you Pete Hexeth isn't qualified to be the Secretary of Defense are also the same ones that put four stars on Rachel Levine and told us this was a good thing. You decide. Does this thing right here deserve four stars for being a Transformer? I mean, guys, like, literally think about this stuff. I'm trying to be very real with you guys. Look at this Transformer and look at this guy right here. If you guys ask me, this is the man that should be behind the Department of the Secretary of Defense. This is someone I can trust versus this thing right here. This looks like some sort of reptilian transformer woman male Baphomet looking thing. Absolutely satanic. And they should not only be arrested, but they 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 should be taken away from all children for the rest of their lives, guys. I mean, this is just sick, dude. They shouldn't just be fired. They have to get arrested. They need to go on the biggest FBI watch list because things like this cannot be walking around our society teaching our children that it's okay to generate, uh, mutilate your genitals. It's absolutely satanic and disgusting, guys. But this is who people want to have as a secretary of defense. Look at this guy. He thinks that he's a woman. This is literally a man. This is an absolute sick, perverted joke. That's all they're doing. They're taking their weird, freaky kinks that they have in private and they're bringing it to the public eye. That's all this whole Transformer movement is about, guys. Because guess what's the next step? We accepted the, uh, the, as America, I'm not saying me personally, I don't accept any of this nonsense. I don't accept the alphabet LGTV mafia. I don't accept any of that nonsense. However, we as a holistic society, the United States of America, first we accepted people that are gay. Then we accepted people that are lesbian. Now we're accepting people who are transformer. What's next? Being a PDF file? It's a progression. That's literally what Satan does. He does He does a little thing. You, you give him an inch, he wants a whole mile so don't ever think for a second that it's going to stop here at, at a transformer next is going to be a pdf file guys it gets worse and worse and worse every single time every single time and again guys i'm not really too sure if this is ai or not but apparently they did some really weird stuff and if you guys don't know who it, this is this is kareen john pierre kareen john pierre is very satanic in herself and they both completely affirm of the lgtv mafia absolutely satanic guys reject this degeneracy and stand up for our lord and savior jesus christ guys this is why i always have this flag behind us because jesus christ is king above anything else guys please don't forget to go ahead and help your boy nate and become a member on our patreon and our youtube channel if you become a 
member on our Patreon, you'll get a bunch of ad-free, banned, exclusive content that I cannot post on here. If you become a member on our YouTube channel, you'll be able to get early access content, guys, member exclusive content, and you'll also be able to get a uh, priority replies to your comments. And regardless of which website you want to become a member on, hopefully you want to become a member on both. But regardless, you will be able to have access to become a Discord member and a member for our YouTube channel. You'll be able to become a moderator. So please become a mod. We need more moderators for our Discord and our YouTube channel. So please become a member so that you can become a moderator for my YouTube channel and for my Discord. I appreciate all the love and support, guys. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, share it with other people. And it was your boy, Nate.